Hey guys, I am putting together a sort of like a jig to put these pieces of foam on it and because uh, none of the joists are more than about 15 inches wide, 14 to 15 inches wide depending on where they sit. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to build a contraption that I can set the foam inside of it and use the hot wire right across the top of it like so, so it gives a nice straight clean cut. Um, I also built a smaller one. The other one was about three feet wide. This one's uh, actually about 15, 14 and a half, 15 inches wide here. So uh, it should make the wire hotter and it should allow me to cut a little bit faster. And I made a simple, um, simple holder on the back here so I can put my hands around it and actually direct the, uh, the cut a little bit easier just with one hand so it's a little bit less uh, intensive on, on uh, holding it. So anyway, that's uh, this contraption. Let's, we'll try that here, out here in just a little bit. So what we got to do now is figure out how to build this thing real quick so I can put some sort of a uh, piece of wood across the top of it or I put a piece of wood across the <laughs> to keep dropping my gloves uh, put a piece of wood across the top so it gets right at the uh, 14 and a half or 15 and a half whatever whatever the mark is for the uh, series of joists that I'm working on so you can watch me do that now Okay, so here's the jig. I basically put shims underneath um, so that I can actually raise it up to 14 and a half, 14 and a quarter, or all the way down to 15. And uh, that's uh, what I'm going to do from here. So let's go ahead and get the generator going, do a test cut, see how quickly it goes.
Okay, so there's the first layer. That's uh, about R45, maybe R R40 to R45 with this EPS insulation. Um, yeah, I know it's recycled, but this is going to end up in a landfill if uh, we didn't come by and recover it and use it for a different form. So what I consider is because it's recycled and it would have probably spent, uh, I'm guessing somewhere around two to three thousand dollars to do R45 in just this, uh, what, 14 by 30, um, the base here. So you got to put some labor in to cover the cost of the um, having to buy the material. So it actually really wasn't that hard after I built the jig to do it. Um, the thing was, if I just cut it to 14 inches wide and then just did one cut across, uh, that once it's actually in here, that might have actually been easier um, than having to cut it to this length, cut the side off, put it in, and then cut it again. So um, the challenge is this, this large cutter over here, I need a larger power supply to make it go a little bit faster. When I went down to um, 14 and a half inches on the new cutter, that thing cuts pretty good pretty fast um, except for when it hits moisture inside the foam and then it just kind of slows down to a crawl but outside of that it it did much better than the big one so my the power supply the uh, the 10 amp um, 30 volt will go up to about 20 volts and about eight and a half amps on the big one on the small one it was about doing about 13 and a half volts times about nine amps 8.5 to 9.5 amps and it was it was hauling right through the smaller wire uh, and the smaller cut. So um, between the two, I can get this done. It'll just it'll take a few days to do this, but you know once it's done, it's done. It never has to be done again. And the stuff is in nice and tight. Um, I might come and in, you know put something underneath it just to you know potentially keep it from dropping if something gets loose down the road. But outside of that, um, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this. So, um, yeah, real happy. <laughs>